Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to print all the subarrays for a given array. We have already discussed about this problem, but today we are going to see a little bit different way than our previous video. You can choose either of the way, whatever the you like. Okay, so let's jump into it. So firstly, let's quickly try to understand what a subarray is. As we discussed, let's say given a subarray we have, for example, 5, 3, 4, 2, 7. A subarray is part of this array only which should be continuous and in same order. So for example, this 5 to 7 is not correct subarray because we are skipping some elements in between. We are skipping these elements in between. So it should be continuous. Again, this 2, 4, 3. This 3, 4, 2 are continuous, but are, they are not in the correct order. This is 2, 4, 3 it should be in correct order, 3, 4, 2. Now this 3 alone is a subarray. Okay, a single element can also be a subarray. This 5, 3, 4, 2, 7, this complete array can also be a subarray because it's also a part of this array. 4, 2, 7 is also a subarray. Okay, now let's see. So let's, for example, we have given this array. I'm taking the same values as that of the indexes, guys. Okay, so for 0, 1, 2, 3, index is also the same, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, what are the all the possible subarrays for this? 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, and 3. So, all of these are the subarrays for the given array. So, how to approach this problem, guys? So, now if you see, guys, everywhere starting point is, let's say for uh, this one, the starting point is here. Okay. And ending point for 0 is shifting from 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 okay so what is happening ending point is shifting from starting from the starting position and shifting up to the last part similarly if we see for this one also starting point is here okay and then ending point starts from this point and shifts up to the very last Similarly, again for 2, starting point is here and ending point is again to the last part, starting from here and up to the last part and so on. So what is happening guys here, you can see this starting point is shifting after one step, like starting from 0, then 1, then 2 and then finally 3. And this ending point is starting from this starting point given S and ending up to the again the last part. So this loops will be, let's see uh, how we can take these loops here. So let's write our first loop. Let's take this int s as variable for starting. Okay, which will start from 0 and keep on running until s is less than n. n here is the size of variable, which is in this case is 4. Finally, s++. plus plus. Okay, now let's write another for loop for this ending part. Now this ending part each time it is not uh, starting from the 0th location. It is starting from the S location. That is the starting point. So ending should start from S. Okay, and keep on going till the last part, last part each time. So ending plus plus. Now finally, for each starting and ending location, we need to print all those elements. So, for example, like I want to print uh, the elements from 1, 2, 3. Let's say this is my starting point and ending point. So, this will print my these elements. Okay. So, again, I need to another uh, run another loop. That should start from the starting point and up to end point. So, I can use any variable. Let's take i here. i is equals to s, the starting position. And i ends up to less than equals to this ending position. E. Finally, I plus plus. And we can use this kind of algorithm, guys, to print our all these subarrays. Cool. So now let's jump into the implementation part and let's see how we can print all these things. Okay. So I'm gonna code in Java as usual. So let's write our first for loop, which is int s equals to 0 semicolon s is less than n semicolon s plus plus this is my first for loop and inside i need to start my ending for loop so which is n equals to it should start from s guys 
okay and e should be again less than n semicolon e plus plus and finally my final loop which is to print the values so which will be let's take int i variable i is equals to starts from s and ends up to the ending part okay i plus plus now i want to simply print all these values starting from i to s so i will use s out okay and i can print a of i okay i need to print in the same line so i will use print here with some spaces cool and after that after i print a complete subarray i need to shift my cursor into next line so i will use s out out of this loop so that's it guys now let's try to run this and see if it works fine okay so it is running completely fine guys let's take some other examples also 5 3 4 2 7 okay so it is working fine completely for this also so using this algorithm guys you can print all the subarrays for a given array okay now let's look into the time complexity of this uh, algorithm so we are printing all the subarrays for a given subarray so what is happening here guys how many subarrays kind of we are printing so if you see firstly starting from 0 we had 4 subarrays now starting from 1 we had 3 subarrays now we had 2 subarrays and finally 1 subarray so this is kind of increasing from 1 2 3 4 and so on okay if i see it in reverse order which is nothing but sum of natural numbers guys it is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n which is nothing but sum of natural numbers okay so formula for sum of natural numbers is n into n plus 1 upon 2 which is n square by 2 plus n by 2 okay so we will take the higher coefficient out of this which will be n square now these are the total number of sub arrays that we have so we have total n square sub arrays guys okay and to print each sub array we can maximum go up to n size okay which is again n size so our time complexity to print all the sub arrays will become n cube so time complexity is big o of n cube okay so that's it and we are not using any extra space so our space complexity simply remains big o of 1 okay so that's it guys now you can use either this approach or the previous approach that i show you whatever the you like so that's it guys for this video i hope you really enjoyed this uh, video and this video helped you out to become a better programmer don't forget to like share and subscribe bye peace thank you